Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to show you how to work with the by post ID and by matrix options of the post module to create awesome single post variations. An example of these variations is the big thumbnails of the blog metro or any other example where some thumbnails differ from the other ones. These variations can include size, text, image, and overlay options, among many others. When you create a post or media gallery module, in this tutorial I'm using a post module with query to product, you can use the single block tab to apply specific settings to selected elements. As you can see in this tab, there is for each element the possibility to modify all the blocks options. These variations are activated by two types of options, the by post ID and by matrix options of the single tab. The by post ID option enables you to apply variations to specific posts, selecting them by name. You see the posts, they are part of the query, listed by name in the single block tab, each one can be customized separately. For example, let's try to double the width and height just to test one of the numerous options. The changes you apply persist even if you alter the post order, since when using this mode, the modifications are applied to the specific selected element. This mode is created for those who need to target a specific post. The other mode is called by matrix and it's far advanced. If you choose this option instead, you will be able to apply variations to positions rather than to specific posts. In a few words, you will be able to create a matrix of variations to be applied to your elements. The individual elements will appear as item number one, item number two, and so on, and you can customize each slot. This means that when you add a new post, all existing posts will automatically shift inside this matrix. You can use this feature to create a layout that will retain its variations even when posts are added or removed. Obviously, this can be applied to portfolios, pages, and product groups as well. This mode is useful if you need to create dynamic content grids. For example, now I have a matrix of three elements. I apply the same modifications of first example and I save the settings. As you can see, every three elements, that is the matrix amount setting, the matrix repeats itself. If, for example, you are creating an unconventional layout, this is probably the mode you need to use because by publishing a new post, portfolio, or product, the elements will flow within the matrix you have created. Shall we try another layout? For example, Let's set the matrix to 5 and the first element width to 12. That's it. The layout has completely changed. And now the matrix repeats itself every 5 elements. Cool. Last example. Let's do it. I set the matrix to 3 and change format to the first element, e.g. width 3 and leaf height 6. There you go, look at that change. And as said until now, I've only changed the width and the height. Let's change our example to make you understand even better by referencing a layout from our demo. In our blog editorial demo, the header content block is created with a post module with matrix options. You can see that the layout is based on five thumbnails and that the first thumbnail is bigger than the other ones and its heading text is bigger too. Inside the matrix options, we have the matrix amount set to five. You can see that the first thumbnail is double than the others and that is specified a big font size for the heading text. In this case, 50 pixels. If I now go to publish a new article, it's an article about best Netflix movies, it's possible to note that the layout remains unchanged and that the elements shifted inside the matrix layout. Amazing. Thanks to the matrix options, 
you can create endless creative and dynamic grids that can make your design unique. Back to our initial example. Remember that you already find many variations in the Wireframes plugin. In the pre-made sections template, with a simple click, you can import ready-made examples that use the matrix options. Here we are with a Metro full-width grid based on matrix single-block diversification.